It's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. She's like, dude, I'm not dying and stuff. I did go through postpartum depression. Falling in love has no time stamp. Let's cuddle. Let me kiss on you. Let me have some flashbacks. what's good i have been waiting to do this video for so long and today is finally the day so for today's video i'm going to be doing a face full of first impressions and we're going to be doing a deep combo session so i'm going to be answering some questions that i found on pinterest and i felt like this was a good way for you guys to get to know me as a person so i'm excited to do this video for y'all today and the makeup turned out very well y'all like i was very impressed about how this makeup turned out of course there was some things that i loved and there was some things that i did not love but overall it was a beautiful makeup look and i would wear this for like an everyday all right guys so without further ado let's get started with the video all right y'all so first things first before you do any makeup make sure you do your skincare routine my face need a little TLC so I did my little hydro eye patches coming up soon I'm going to be doing a skincare routine video I do use mostly Korean skincare products because I'm trying to like fix a lot of hyperpigmentation and have like glass skin. So that video is gonna be coming really soon. The first thing I like to do is my eyebrows. Always, always, forever gonna do it. I'm going to mow my eyebrows. I rarely ever do this, but today I wanted to try something different and try to see like if I like mold it a certain way before I actually fill it in, like will it look sleeker? So I picked up the e.l.f. Brow Lift Gel. I'm really hoping I love this. All right, y'all, so for the first question, what color scheme do you want your future house to be. So funny story is I'm about to try to get my first house really really soon. Um, so this is just so funny that that's my starter question. My color scheme that I would love my house to be. I know this is probably like typical because everybody is doing this color scheme right now but I really love the clean look of like white, black with green accents some beigey colors very minimalistic and modern okay so for my eyebrows i'm going to be using the nyx micro brow pencil in the color chocolate okay nyx y'all did this this looks nice all right so question number one is what is your biggest insecurity me personally my biggest insecurity has always 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 been my smile as you guys know i started my braces journey here on youtube and i have always just been very insecure about how my teeth look ever since i got braces i was more confident and i smiled a lot more however my teeth have started to shift again because my retainer broke and all of that. I explained that in like a previous video. I did recently get gum surgery. Because my gums were so big and my teeth were so small and I do not regret that surgery at all. But I do want braces again. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my eyebrows really quick. So I did pick up the Tarte Shape Tape Concealers because everybody has been talking about this concealer. I'm an OG elf camo concealer type girl like that concealer is the bomb i don't think nothing can ever top that concealer it has the best coverage ever so i'm really curious to see how this concealer is compared to that concealer next question is do you get jealous so i feel like everybody gets a little jealous right i have been jealous before i do get jealous when it comes to people and their education because right now i am still trying to get my education and i'm 25 like i feel like i am so behind when it comes to getting my degree because i decided to go to the air force instead of finishing up my college degree. It's taken me a lot longer to get it done. I kid you not, every time grad season comes up and everybody is when they're capping gowns and they're taking pictures that they're graduating and blah, 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 I get so jealous because I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Why is it taking me so long to get my degree? Because I just value knowledge so much. I do get inspired more than anything and it pushes me to continue to go on with my degree. So next question is, what is your biggest 
turn on. So I'm going to say like my top three. So really quick before we even talk about that, let me prime my face. So I picked up the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer, but I got the pink one instead of the green one because literally everywhere I go, the green one is sold out. And that is the one that I really wanna try because everybody say it is like the best thing since sliced bread, okay? My three biggest turn ons are, I love for somebody to smell good. I love like perfumes, colognes. Like my second turn on is your music taste. So your music taste matters a lot to me, right? So y'all know I'm an R&B girly. You don't have to love R&B music, but you need to be knowledgeable in it. You need to know some Key Sweat, you need to know some Brownstone, you need to know some SWV, you need to know some Escape. You need to know some Joe, like you need to know something. But it doesn't have to be, like I said, 100%, like you just have to love 90s R&B, like you can't love anything else. No, that's not what I'm saying. But if you have a good like knowledge in 90s R&B, then I love you, period. <laughs> and my third turn on, I would say, is someone's personality. Like your personality, has to be like top tier. But like, if I was gonna do like a bonus one, it would be like the way that you look at me. Just do something to me, I'd be feeling like, ooh. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd be feeling like I'm in the clouds. Woo, just had me, had me having some flashbacks, you know? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my foundation. So my foundation that I picked up was the Elf Halo Glow Liquid Filter. So the one thing I'm looking for with this foundation is coverage. I'm like a full coverage baddie. I love like a full coverage foundation, but like lightweight, you know what I mean? Next question, y'all, next question. What's a childhood dream you never got to accomplish? I have always wanted to be like two things. One, I wanted to be in the WNBA. I love, love basketball. You will catch me at my university at a basketball game because a lot of people do not, they don't appreciate women's basketball like they do men's basketball. But I always wanted to be in the WNBA and I let that dream go. But if I didn't go to the WNBA, I wanted to become a chef. Like I love to cook. I cook a lot. Yeah, I love cooking. I love like, romanticizing cooking and food. Next question, while I open up my beauty blender, what's your trigger word? I do not like the word shawty. That is a trigger word for me. I freaking hate that word. Or I hate when people call me red bone. I hate that. I just hate that so much. So the coverage is good, but I feel like it's oily and my skin is too oily for it. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and contour. I picked up the Black Radiance Foundation Stick in the color Espresso. The next question is, what was the best phase of your life? The best phase of my life was when I just got out of basic training and I was at tech school. I did not have a care in the world. I was single, I had no kids, I was young, in the best shape of my life. I just got out of basic training and like I was, I couldn't have been in any better shape. Like I had abs y'all. I felt good, I looked good. I was making new friends. Like we were out like seeing new things, eating new food. Like, I had so much fun. That was like the best phase of my life. And I like think about it all the time. And I do miss it, I miss it a lot. So the next question is, how long is the longest you've had feelings for someone? The longest I've ever had feelings for someone was four years. I was dating somebody for like four years. She's also in the Air Force. Um, I have no idea where she's at now. We met in high school, like we parted ways when she officially went to the Air Force. She joined the Air Force before I did. So I was still in college and stuff. So yeah, that was the longest I've ever had feelings for somebody. And it didn't work out, so, you know. What's one experience that changed your outlook on life? One experience that has changed my outlook on life is being a mom. Just to give you guys like a little bit of backstory because I do plan to do a motherhood 
video once my child turns three years old, basically talking about what I've learned about myself and about being a mom in today's society. Being a mom and learning what it takes to be a mom has been such a rewarding thing. However, it did put me in like a bad mental space a lot. And like I said, I won't get into it too much because I will make a video about it, but like, I did cry a lot. I did go through postpartum depression. I was away from family. I wasn't in a relationship. I just recently had got divorced at that time. And it was, it was a lot on me trying to learn how to be a new mom with no help. It made me the woman that I am today. I am stronger and I know that I can do anything. Like I can be this little boy's mom and still be Talia. So I love my son with everything in me um, and he did teach me so much um, and I wouldn't change it for anything. I wouldn't change it for anything. So the next question is what's your perfect day like? A perfect day in Talia's world. I would wake up and I would go work out. So I'm going through a workout phase right now y'all. I love working out. I love how it makes me feel. I would spend the whole day watching YouTube videos. And I have like a selective amount of YouTubers that I do watch because you know, YouTube is starting to get very saturated. I watch Korean dramas, y'all. So I am obsessed with Korean dramas. Korean drama shows me the type of life that I wish that I had, but I don't have. The ones I really do like to watch are like the romantic ones or the ones that's got real drama in it. Like people cheating on each other. No stuff like that. And I've watched so many Korean dramas in my day. I have literally been watching Korean drama since like 10th grade. So since I was like 14. So I would spend the day watching Korean dramas, eating snacks, just laying in the bed, not being bothered by anybody, not being bothered by the world, not at all. It's just me. I'm gonna go ahead and take Maybelline Fit Me in Sun Beige and I'm gonna take that and set the lighter concealer on my face before we start baking. So my next question is what's your definition of cheating? My definition of cheating is something that you are ashamed to tell me because you know that it's going to upset me. It's wrong. Was you flirting with somebody? Did you sit there and say something out of pocket to somebody knowing that we're talking? Do you feel like you should have been doing it? We grown, let's be real, we grown. You know what cheating is. You know you're not supposed to be sitting there DMing somebody telling them like they fine. Because if I did it, it's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. It's cool when they do it's it. Cool. It's a problem when I do it. We gonna have a problem, right? You gonna be mad. So don't do something that you wouldn't want me to do. I finally picked up the Julius Place Bronze Duo palette. I see everybody with this palette and it looks beautiful. So I'm actually gonna use one of these shades as like my crease shade. So my next question is story of your first kiss. I do not remember my first kiss. It was probably like when I was like in elementary school or something like that, being fast, you know, whatever. I can talk about the first kiss that I do remember, which is like when I first found out that I was lesbian, y'all. I'll give y'all that little story time or whatever. When I found that I was lesbian, there was this girl and she was in the library. I was in the library with my friends. It was like eighth grade. And I was like looking at her because I was like, oh my gosh, he is so cute, right? Because I thought it was a boy, okay? Because like I said, I like studs, you know what I'm saying? So I thought, I thought it was a boy, but it was a girl. So like my friends were like, no girl, that's a girl. That's, that's not no boy. And so I was like, oh really? Your girl was like intrigued. I was like, okay, she fine, so what's up? I to her, I talked to her, I said she was fine, you know what I'm saying, you know. Your girl ain't scared. She ain't scared, not even a little bit. Okay, I was like, I'm finna go and try. She can only say no. I went up to her, she talked to me. She said I was pretty, you know what I'm saying? We exchanged numbers and woo woo woo. I went over to her house and you know, I met her mom or whatever. And we was in her room. And yo, you know, I'm just like, I was so nervous, y'all. Like, what am I, what am I doing? Um, she's like, doing my dying stuff and making me nervous. So she starts like leaning in and whatever, and then I kiss her, whatever. And like that same night, we did the do. It's my first time doing a little do. And like, 
to make a long story short y'all like, we talked for a while we dated for a while then we broke up and it didn't work out these are the lashes that i'm going to be applying today these are from the beauty supply store y'all so these are gonna be my little lashes today so my next question is three words that describe you so i think three words that describe me are i feel like i'm too nice i feel like i am ambitious i have a lot of goals i have a lot of things that i want to do in this life nothing is going to stop me from doing that i'm going to keep going until god tells me to stop so i think the third word to describe me is understanding i'm very understanding of people's situations and like what they're going through and nobody's perfect as demons everybody has trauma and things come up people go through stuff and I feel like I'm very understanding about that. I'm understanding about people's circumstances. So my next question is, what's the most sensitive parts of your body? So while I let my lashes dry, I'm gonna take Ruby Kisses Liquid Eyeliner in Shine Black, and I'm going to be doing my wing. My wing is my signature. If I don't have on my wing, something is wrong. Okay, I've always been doing a wing since I could do makeup, so. It's just my thing, I don't know. Um, the most sensitive part of my body, I think, is like my neck. If you brush your lips on my neck, you might not be ready for what's about to come next. I think another sensitive part of my body is like my lower back. So I love when a female just like touches my lower back and like grabs me. And like pulls me in and just like caress my lower back or whatever. My next question is, what's your biggest fear right now? So I think my biggest fear, like being completely transparent, is getting out of the Air Force. So if you guys do not know, I am getting out the Air Force in November of next year. The Air Force was a stepping stone towards my future, but it's not my forever. I've been doing this for a good chunk of my 20s. So like I'm nervous to get out and not be successful. I feel like, what happens if I don't succeed? What happens if I got out the Air Force? And I was comfortable in the Air Force to get out to try to chase my dreams of becoming a, a gynecology PA. However, I'd rather take that risk to follow my dream and follow my heart than to stay in something and be comfortable. Okay, this makeup's starting to look real cute, y'all. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and brush off this powder. So my next question is, how long would it take for you to fall in love? Falling in love has no time stamp. That's just me. I feel like it's based off of the vibe that that person gives you. And I feel like it just depends on like how much time y'all spend together. Do you guys like have the same morals, the same goals in life? Like, are you guys in the right place to have like a flourishing relationship? So my next question is what song breaks your heart every time you hear it? I think the song that breaks my heart the most is hearing Just Be A Man About It by Tony Braxton. When I went through my first divorce ever, um, I listened to that song a lot. So now I'm gonna take my Julius Place blushed duo palette <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and like apply blush to my face. Go ahead and contour my nose now. The next question is, how do you cope with being sad? So I'm gonna give you guys like a real life example. So um, just being transparent, I did have a little breakdown literally like three days ago and I literally cried my eyes out. I was crying, I cried myself to sleep. I just recently found out, I wasn't gonna tell y'all this yet, but I recently had found out that I had got orders to South Korea. You guys have been an OG Leah baby for a long time. Y'all know how much I love South Korea. I advertise that all over my channel. Um, as you guys know, I am supposed to be going on deployment and I was told that the PCS orders was going to take precedence over the deployment. However, that is not true. My orders got canceled this week. I'm no longer going to Korea. 
I am going on my deployment instead. Literally how I cope with being sad is just cry it out. Cry it out even if you don't let anyone know that you're crying it out, just cry it out because I promise you it'll make you feel so much better than trying to hold all of your emotions in. It made me feel so much better the next day. Like the, the next day I felt like I was on top of the world because I just simply let myself just cry. Also, something I used to do when I was sad but I don't do it as much anymore is I used to journal. I used to love journaling and I would go on Pinterest and I would look up like journal prompts to keep me like interested in writing about something and I would write about a specific prompt every single day. The highlighter that I am going to be using today is by ColourPop. It's their Super Shock Highlighter in the color Lunch Money. Okay. I am loving her and she is loving me. Eight. Eat it down. I'm going to be doing my lips, y'all. So I'm gonna be taking the Juvia's Place Lip Liner. It's the Lux Liner in Cola. And I'm gonna line my lips. So my next question is, what's your toxic trait? So I feel like my toxic trait in a relationship, and I'm not saying this is good, okay? It's not good. Like, I feel like you shouldn't need to go out with your friends. I'm all you need. Like, Come lay in the bed with me, let's cuddle. Why are you going, why are you going to the club? Stay in the house and play video games. Let me cook for you. Let me rub your feet. Let's cuddle. Let me kiss on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, why do you feel like you need to go out? So I went and picked up the NYX Butter Gloss Lip Glosses, okay? And I've seen every woman of color with these lip glosses, y'all, on TikTok. And they were like, so pretty. So I got like four colors, figure out which color I want. I think creme brulee. Let's try that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's the that's the color. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray and I'm gonna set my face. I sprayed way too much, okay. So I'm gonna let this dry real quick. I use the e.l.f setting mist, right? And it takes a lot, you gotta spray a lot to set your face, right? And so I'm thinking I have to spray this much on my face now too, to set it. And I really didn't have to. This is, this is a strong spray. Trial and error, trial, trial and error. But it's gonna be fine once it dries. Uh, so I'm gonna do something like really simple with my hair, change my clothes real quick, and then we're gonna talk about how I felt about these first impressions. I just threw my hair up because I actually got to get going. This is the final look. I love it. There are some products that I love more than other products and we're gonna talk about that. So let me get into what I did not like first. Makeup that I could have done without. I really don't like the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It's not horrible, but I don't love it as much as I love the e.l.f. Camo concealer. I feel like that concealer has more coverage uh, and it was better of a better formula than the Tarte. Uh, two, I also felt like I did not love this foundation. This foundation was too liquidy. I love the applicator to death. I wish the Maybelline Fit Me had this applicator because it's easier for you to control how much foundation you're putting on your face. I think it matched very well with my face and I didn't have to mix it with another foundation. It's just the formula that's getting me. I think that's what that is. It's just the formula. I also feel like I don't love this primer. I don't love it. However, it's the pink one. I wanna try the green one and see if I like the green one more than I like the pink one. I put it on my skin and it was rolling up like glue. Like, you know, if you put glue on your hand and it dries and it just like balls up as you rub it. That's how I feel like this was on my skin. So I really don't love it. All right, so let's get into what I did love out of these first impressions. The number one thing that I absolutely loved from these first impressions was of course the Juvia's Place Duo Palettes. I love, 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 love these palettes. I wasn't expecting this blush to be so pigmented. I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. I'm probably never going back to any other palettes. These are my favorites out of the whole thing. Another love, 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 I don't even know what I was thinking about not getting a bigger one, was the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder in Honey. 
I freaking love this powder. My face looks so good. It feels so nice too. Like I am obsessed with this powder. I don't know what I was thinking to get a smaller one. I am just done with air spun powder that's that was my og girl but i think i've evolved and i'm going to start using the laura mercier powder period and my last oh my gosh i love this out of my first impressions was of course the juvia's place lip liner in cola this is beautiful i love brown lip liners i'm obsessed i feel like i love a little old school brown line of lip with like a nude in the middle this creme brulee color, I'm not obsessed with it, you know what I mean? But it could just be, I don't like it with this liner. Like, I might like it with a lighter brown liner, you know what I mean? So, like, I just feel like for this liner, I could have used a little lighter of a color, like Fortune Cookie. Everything that I did not mention in this video that I did use, I felt in the middle about it. Like, I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. It was, like, middle. Let me try it some more and see. Yeah, I think that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed doing this little chit chat, answering questions while I do my makeup type of video. And if you guys want me to do something like this again, I will do so. Please put down in the comments below some of your makeup suggestions. I love trying new makeup. Go ahead and put those down below because your girl's gonna buy. Okay, if anything else, your girl's gonna buy some makeup. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat when I am not in front of this camera. That is where I am at. Don't forget, I love you guys so, so much. My small little family. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!